Hi, I'm Mishka. I am a chiropractor by day and I am a gamer by night. Can you tell us, what do you do? So chiropractic is a neuromuscular skeletal profession, meaning that anything in the body that has any aches or pains, whether it be joints, muscles, if it is able to be sorted out conservatively, especially by hand, and that's what chiropractic means, I'll be able to sort it out. And how did you enter into the world of gaming? So I grew up in a very strict family um, and my father had very strict rules about academics. We had to be very studious, make sure that we got good grades. And one point my cousin actually gave us a console, one of those old cartridge consoles. And my dad said to us, you know what, I'll give you a little bit of time to actually do a little bit of the gaming, um, but only on the weekends. The rest of the week you got to focus on your schoolwork. So that's exactly what we did and um, said everything in moderation. And uh, as that went on, um, unfortunately I lost my father in 2011 and gaming became a way of me coping with my bereavement. Uh, 2013 was when I first got into it quite uh, actively and I've been gaming ever since. And what games do you enjoy playing? Hands down, World of Warcraft is my favorite. <laughs> I also do dabble a little bit in Pal World, and Shrouded, Apex Legends, Call of Duty. I also do enjoy a bit of Minecraft as well. And when you started playing games, what were the changes in your lifestyle that you noticed, both good and bad? So when I started initially, I had a laptop. Um, I did not have a proper setup. I used to sit on my bed with a fold-out table as my desk, um, and it didn't do very well for my back. Um, I also did find that from doing this, I ended up having to do a little bit more work on myself in terms of my back. Thankfully, at that point in time, I was actually still uh, st studying chiropractic. It did help. That was where the bad habits came from, the poor posture. And uh, now that I am a little bit older and wiser, I have a better setup and uh, better habits. I mean, I think it's quite common that uh, gamers set up with just a bed and the PC. Oh yes. Um, so yeah, it, it's quite common that way. But from your medical standpoint, what advice would you give to parents, teachers, and of course, gamers? So the very first thing that I would say is if your child comes to you and they are really, really interested in gaming and they would like to get into the world of gaming, invest in a proper setup for them. The biggest thing that I find the problem with is that kids tend to sit on bad chairs, they don't have a proper desk set up, um, and that in turn causes poor posture and a variety of other ailments that could come at a later stage. I think it is difficult sometimes as a parent to understand the need, but it's, it, it's clear there are you know, strong health benefits. What are your thoughts on the new developments, virtual reality and augmented reality games. I first saw augmented reality when it came to Pokemon Go. That was actually a very nice change um, to gaming itself. Not only is it mobile, you had to go out and look for these uh, Pokemon. So that was really, really cool. Um, in terms of virtual reality, I really, I'm super excited to see um, how it progresses. I, I would love to actually get a set for myself. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really see that people will become a lot more active and see that gaming is not just about sitting down and being sedentary for a long or extended period of time, actually getting up and moving around and running after things, um, especially that platform, uh, as, as much as you're, you're locked into this little platform, you're still able to run, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I think gaming is going to become a lot more active, uh, not just interactive, but active itself. And do you think in the years to come, with all this push in technology, will the usual setup for gaming stations change? I think it would. I, I really think it would. Um, I mean, if we think about how cartridge era ended up in PC era, which moved into console, and now we've got VR and, 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 and AR, we're getting up, we're getting out, we're moving a lot more. We're seeing arenas that actually have these virtual reality um, capabilities. So they're encouraging people to get out, get up and get moving. And Mishka, I brought in a gamer with me. Oh. <laughs> and I would like you to demonstrate some of your talented skills with him. Awesome. <laughs> Let's get going. Hi, 
Hi. I'm Mishka. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Yahya. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. So, I hear you're a gamer. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. What kind of games do you play? I play soccer, I play PS games. So, yes. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, so why are you coming to see me today? As you can see, my back is not straight. I can't sit like this straight. Okay. I have to bend. It's been a long time like this. Okay. So, All right. Does it cause any pain? You no, know, actually, but I struggle a lot while I'm sitting. Okay. All righty. So let me do a couple of orthopedic tests. These are just pretty much tests to make sure that you are safe enough for me to treat and to see if there is anything else that is underlying. All righty. So I'm going to check everything. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Let's have a look and see. I really do need to release your neck, your upper back, as well as your lower back. So considering how often you game, how long do you normally sit for? Like this? Yes. For two, three hours. Two, three hours. Do you ever get up? Do you ever move around? No, I just no. take a break, sit back, then I come back. Okay, and then you end up in the same position. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Can I ask you to get onto your back for me? For this is the okay. I need you to take a nice deep breath for me. Relax there for me. That's good. How was that? Oh, oh. I feel better now. <laughs> Wiggle your left big toe for me. Yes. There we go. Gotcha. Don't fight me and don't help. There we go. Are you feeling any pain? No. That's good. What did you see? Either. <laughs> <laughs> so in particular, when you were sitting, majority of this part of your back was very curved over. Yes. All right. And this also comes from posture as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to release that area. You are going to feel like you want to resist when I adjust. All right. Please try not to. All right. Because yes. if you resist, the muscles get tight and then it can actually end up feeling quite uncomfortable for you. All right, and we don't want it to be uncomfortable. Okay, relax your arms here for me. There we go. Nice, good release. Um, yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, one more. There we go, got it. That one, right at the bottom, where you've been uh, sitting forward and slouching forward, that is the reason why it has been like that, because you've been in that position, the top, and the bottom were very, very tight. So it kind of sort yeah. of kept you in that locked position. All right. I do apologize, because after this, you're probably going to feel like you've been hit by a bus. This is completely normal, okay? So one other thing that you will find as well is that when you sit for long periods of time with your gaming, you'll find that your pelvis might become a little bit misaligned, all right? And I have noticed this on the feet as well. So when I actually measure, all right, if you look here, if I put my fingers on either side of what we call your medial malleolus, and I put your legs together, your left hand side is slightly higher, all right? Remember when I felt right in the beginning, yeah. all right? You had a little bit less of a bounce on this side with the pelvis in comparison to the right. So this just also shows that there is something going on. So if you look at your heels even and where your toes are, this side is slightly higher on the left in comparison to the, le uh, the right. So I've got you on your side, okay? So this one is going to also, first time you've been adjusted, so this is going to come as a little bit of a shock for you. I'm gonna hold you here so you don't fall. I'm gonna get up and over your body and I'm gonna put this hand onto this guy here that's really tight. This is your sacred iliac joint, mm. okay? okay? My hip is gonna be contacting on yours. You're gonna take a deep breath in and out. And then I'm gonna do what I always describe as a WWE Smackdown move, all right? <laughs> we're gonna go down and we're gonna get this adjustment. All right, take a nice deep breath in, all the way out. Relax your arms here for me. There we go. Yeah. Fabulous. Relax here for me. There we go. This side's much better on this side. Okay, onto your back again for me. Now I'm going to measure it again, okay? Now, it's a lot more equal. You can actually see that. That's good. Well done. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So you, I'm pretty sure you can feel it right now that this is not as tight as it was before. Yeah. And even when I look at it from the side, your curve that you had presented with right in the beginning is a lot less. Now, if you actually sit up a little bit straight and push your chest out, is it as, as uh, uncomfortable as it was before? No, actually, I want to sit like this right now. Nice. So it's not right now. Nice. Very nice. So, I can't bend. <laughs> I can't bend. Bending forward. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. Feel the difference. 
There's like hardly anything. Sit up a little bit straight. See, very, very minor corrections. So much better. Okay, here's the real test. Feel the difference. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay, we're all done. That's Thank it. You. Thank you. Could you recommend some of the easy exercises that we could, you know, do in our own house? Oh, absolutely. So firstly, not just an exercise, but make sure that you take care of your sitting. So you have to be getting up every hour to 45 minutes. Let's take a step away from your actual desk. By doing so and actually encouraging movement, you're decreasing the chance of having the pain and discomfort that we generally see from sitting for long periods of time. Doing a basic neck and lower back exercise or stretch that can help relieve any discomfort or tension that, that you're experiencing as well. Thank you very much, Mishka, for your time and sharing these valuable insights with us. We really hope that this brings awareness to the importance of ergonomics in the gaming setup. Thank you so much for having me.